My name is Jane. I'm one of the 11,000 kids reported abuse in Denver last year. DCAC gave me hope. They stood up. They fought for me. I am Jane Doe. DCAC is an organization that works to prevent child abuse and neglect. Whenever abuse happens, we take care of all the child's and family needs around the abuse or the traumatic experience. We're advocates for any situations that they've been going through, such as domestic violence, physical abuse, sexual abuse. Our goal is not for families to forget what happened to them, but to help them be at a more social, emotional, stable state of mind. The issue here is that unlike any other type of injuries, where you see a cut, where you see a burn, where you see a bruise, you don't see this. What these kids have are invisible wounds. My name is Marisha Mori. I have two kids involved in the DCAC right now. I was very hesitant reaching out for help at first because we're scared of being judged and, and being talked about for the things that we're going through. The DCAC has opened up many resources for me. I have many people I can talk to and lean on when things are really hard for me. If I ever need help with anything, they're all always there for me. My name is Detective Marka Lawrenson. I have personally investigated over 200 cases. With the majority of those cases, I have used the DCAC forensic interviewers to help me with those. The forensic interview, it's the start of when a child first comes to DCAC and the beginning of the investigation for allegations of abuse or neglect. The interview is specific to children in the way they ask their questions and in the way they do their follow-up. So it is instrumental to our investigations. We all work together to um, really try to address these cases from the beginning and see it through to the end. We are a group of dedicated individuals. It's not so much a job, it's a passion. It's a calling. What I have found really helpful about DCAC is that they're so open to connecting with other organizations that are also doing other amazing things. They not only serve the individuals who come through their doors, but they also make these great connections with the community. Abuse can happen to anyone, your next door neighbor, your child. My mission is to be there for my clients, for the little ones, for the teenagers, for the families. I take a lot of reward and pride on the fact that we are here to help all of you, any of you. For my daughter, before she started coming to sessions, I would say she was very removed. Going to these therapy sessions with her therapist has allowed her to open up her personality, her confidence, her self-esteem. Before I came here, I felt like there was no way out. I was by myself. I was going to be stuck in it for the rest of my life. There is help out there for us. We just have to take the first step out there. I'm doing my little part to keep kids safe, and that's what's important to me. It is truly given hope and a place where children victims of crime can come and get the help that they need. <laughs>